Hey everyone, today we are running the game Final Fantasy VII Remake on the Apple Silicon Mac. So this is the Windows version of the game, there is no Mac port I'm afraid. And in order to get this to run on an Apple Silicon Mac, for example the M1, M2, M3 or even M4 Mac, then we need to use a Windows translation layer in order to play the Windows version of this game. And here we're actually using something called Crossover. So in this tutorial today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install this game through Crossover. We're also going to be applying something called CX Patcher in order to get the latest version of D3D Metal 2.0 Beta 3, which is going to allow this game to run as well as possible on the Apple Silicon Mac. And I'm going to show you the full tutorial here today. So the first step is going to be to download Crossover. So what I recommend doing is clicking at the link at the top of this video's description. Every single purchase that's made after clicking this link is going to help to support this channel and the content that I create. Once you're taken to the purchase page, you'll be able to enter this promo code, Apple Gaming Wiki New. And once you press the arrow button here, it's going to go ahead and apply a 20% off discount, which is pretty huge, off Crossover Plus, which is the version that we recommend for 12 months of support. However, if you want to make sure that this works for you, make sure to check out the 14 day free trial which is what I'm going to be trialing today just click this try now button and then scroll down and all we need to do is enter our email address and name and then click the download trial now button so once crossover is downloaded we're going to copy it over to our applications folder and then we're going to double click to open it for the first time let's open it might ask you to install Rosetta 2 just let that install and then we're going to do the free trial or if you have unlocked this already you can enter your details here from the code weavers account so I'm going to try now to start the 14 day free trial and basically we're ready to go ahead and use crossover but the first thing I'm going to do is to quit out and we're going to make the modifications to crossover. This is an optional step that will allow us to use the latest versions of D3D Metal. At the time of recording that's version 2.0 beta 3. So here we're going to be downloading the latest version of CX Patcher which I'll be leaving a link in the description and we're going to be using 0.5.6 and this contains the latest update to Game Porting Toolkit 2.0 which is D3D Metal 2.0 beta 3. So here what we're going to do is go to assets and then download the cxpatcher.app.zip and then put this in our downloads folder. And once that's there, we're going to go to Finder and then go to Downloads. And then we'll go to CX Patcher, double click to extract this. And then we're going to move this into our applications folder. We are going to make sure that we open up Crossover first before we start this process and then close it. And then we're going to double click on CX Patcher. If it says it can't be opened, then go to the Settings menu here, go to System Settings, and then go to Security and Privacy. And then scroll down until we find here, it says CX Patcher can't be opened. It was blocked to protect your Mac. Click Open anyway. And here we can close this and press open anyway then we're going to type in our password and then log in that's okay and this will basically allow us to open up applications which aren't from the app store type in your password press okay so just be aware that of course this is not a supported method of patching crossover this really comes at your own risk do not ask for code weavers for support or refund if you're using this method they will not be able to help you if you need help from code weavers then you should be waiting for official support which is probably going to come in the very near future if you want to be able to use this you need to type in this full phrase and then press agree and proceed now cx patch is ready to use so we're going to configure some settings first go to advanced options and then we're going to be enabling dxvk integrate gptk we're going to use a separate bottle path we're going to be advertising avx we're going to be allowing dxvk async and then we can tweak some of these settings too so now we're going to drag and drop crossover into CX Patcher. Now CX Patcher is ready to go. So I double click on crossover. Say we're going to install Steam. Click install. Click yes here. Accept. And now we're just going to go through the standard Windows setup of Steam. And now that's going ahead and downloading Steam. So make sure to allow any kind of permissions that the bottle requests. And then I also advise turning on D3D Metal and also the M-Sync option and then reboot the bottle. This will allow us to run DirectX 11 and 12 games through crossover. Then we're going to make sure to launch Steam. So here we're going to log in with our Steam account. So if you don't have one already, you can create one for free. So now that we have the Windows version of Steam loaded up, we can go into a library and basically download any game that we have. So with Steam open, we're going to go ahead and install Final Fantasy VII Remake. So you should go ahead and download this if it's already in your library, or you can buy this from the Steam store by buying the Windows version of the game to play on the Mac. So before you launch, what I do recommend is right clicking on the game, going to properties and then entering this launch option dash DX11. This will allow the game to run in DirectX 11 mode, which has substantially better performance running through crossover than DirectX 12 mode and basically looks pretty much identical except for the pretty huge difference in frame rate. So here we're loading up the level within Midgard and we're getting around 80 to 100 or so FPS in this town level. There is a little bit of stuttering, but it's still very much playable, especially as we're running this on high settings at 1440 here I'm able to play a little bit of the combat just to show you that it works pretty well. I'm pretty confident that you play pretty much this entire game through crossover 
running on a Mac just fine. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. No.